You're gonna want one of these. What does it help with? Hey girl, hope you're good and well. It's your girl Laddie here and I'm back with a brand new wig install. This is a low maintenance, lazy girl approved wig and you're gonna absolutely love this one. This is the wig straight out of the box, as in I took it out the package and then put it on my head. And look how stunning it is. The hairline is pre-plucked and the lace came pre-bleached. All I had to do was cut off the lace and it's immediately ready to go. Do you see how stunning this wig is? Like, I'm immediately obsessed. I added a little mousse to make the curls pop. It's absolutely glueless and girl. So this gorgeous, gorgeous wig is from Love Me Hair. Girl, when you get yours, make sure you come back to this video so we can install it together, okay? Now when it comes to packaging, you already know Love Me Hair always does it right. So of course this week came with a few extra goodies. And who doesn't love freebies? The best part is it's things you absolutely need but don't necessarily purchase yourself. I absolutely love this brush, it's such a gorgeous color. Now let's get into this wig, shall we? I'm immediately obsessed with the lace. I mean look at this part, it's pre-bleached and the hairline is pre-plucked. If you know me, you know I leave for low maintenance wigs. So this is already scoring high points right off the bat. It's a 5x5 five five closure wig. They're not plain when they say the lace is HD because do you see how it blends with my skin tone straight out of the box? Look at this. Now look at the material. Like no bleaching, no skin tint required. It comes with an adjustable elastic band attached. We absolutely love that. And there's total of four combs, one on each side, one at the back, one at the top. And the wig cap, yo. The wig cap is breathable, which allows air to still pass through, and we can reach our scalps, which makes it perfect for the summer. Please peep that lace one more time. I can't get over how good it looks. Like, that's straight out of the box, yo. And to the install, out with the beige wig cap. We're using the brown wig cap that came with the wig as it's better suited to my complexion. And since my natural hair is not braided down, I'm doubling the wig cap so my hair lays as flat as possible under the wig. Let's adjust the elastic band so that the wig lays as snug as possible and we're gonna pop it on. So with wig installs, I would usually have to use a foundation or a lace tint spray on the lace to blend it to my skin tone, but I didn't have to do all of that and look how good it looks. You have see now. See? So far, I honestly have nothing but good feelings towards this wig. Like, I am thoroughly impressed. I'm taking my scissors because it's time for the lace to go. Remember, when you're cutting the lace off, never cut in a straight line. Just make sure you go in like jagged little motions until you get all of the lace off. In hindsight though, I do wish I had left a little more lace on. But regardless, chef's kiss. Yusef, you can see what I'm talking about. Do I need to say more? This is a small concealer blending brush with leftover concealer from when I did my makeup and I'm just going over the lace with it. The goal is for the lace to essentially disappear into my skin. And you cannot tell me that you do not see what I mean. Like, be so for real right now. Are you seeing what I'm saying? Doesn't that look good? Like, lace weird. No, really weird. I'm, I'm, I'm in love. Like, that's all I can see at this point. It's coming together easily and so quickly and I'm so hyped for it. If you are anything like me and you hate the wigginess work of wigs, this wig is 100% lazy girl approved friend. You need one. At this point, I'm trying to decide how I want to style this gorgeous girl, so let's just fluff out the curls first while we figure it out. I was thinking about swooping some baby hairs on the sides, so I'm just trying to see what that might look like. But if I'm being very honest, I think I might be over it. And it doesn't seem like it's necessary for this wig, so no, mm -mm. no baby hairs. And we gotta make sure that the middle part is middle part in as it should and adjust accordingly. And I think now it is. And now it just needs a little shaping. There's really no method to my madness here. We're just gonna go through it, trim pieces around my face, the sides, just make sure to go downwards so it doesn't look choppy. You can totally skip this step if you're not confident with scissors. I just like to do it to give it some layers and some shape. Um, I would say it's a curly wig so you can hardly mess it up. So give it a try. There's nothing to be afraid of. Just make sure you're going in a downward motion. Just downwards, downwards, downwards. Some pieces at the top, some pieces in front. Just you see how I'm doing it. There's really no method to it. So don't be afraid friend. Put some layers in. 
make sure to fluff the curls out to make sure it's to your liking and if it's not do the needful grab your scissors and put some more layers in i'm feeling pleased with the layers and the shape at this point so i'm just gonna take some mousse and use that to mold the closure to make sure it lays as flat as possible and tame the flyaways this is a curly wig so we don't need hot tools see this wig you need bare minimum literally bare minimum effort also molding the front bit to give it some vavoom because rather than it laying flat in front i appreciate when the front forms that little c before it drops down you see what i mean and with the teensy tiny bit of concealer i'm just cleaning up the front bit of my part so that it blends with the rest of it as you can see the curls are a little bit sad and flat at this point on account of all that movement so we're just bringing it back to life with mousse that's literally the only product i used on this wig I'm just applying it throughout the hair, making sure it gets into all of the curls. And then we're just going to cinch those curls back together like so to make sure they curl as they should. Just like so all through the hair. Make sure it's to your liking, adjust where necessary and just like that we're literally done. Yes, that was the entire install and it took me less than 10 minutes. Minimum efforts, maximum results. I absolutely love the way it came out and I 10 over 10 recommend this wig. It's Love Me Hair's breathable cap, kinky, curly, glueless, 5x5 closure, HD lace wig, ready to go. That was a mouthful, but the direct link is below in the description box, so be sure to check it out. It's of course completely glueless and still secure enough for everyday wear. Just look at that fine girl. Take a look at the hair. Take a look at the girl wearing the hair as well. The mousse dried completely and this is what it's looking like. It's giving volume, it's giving body. I'm in love, I'm obsessed and I can't even lie. So a few days later, rather than just using mousse to define the curls, I went in with my detangling spray. Water in a bottle will work just as well. And then after using that, I went in with this Cantu curling cream to define the curls. And this is how it came out. Look how juicy and bouncy and springy those curls look. I was very, very pleased with the look. Girl, if you're feeling this week as much as I'm feeling it, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and get you one. That's all for me for now, friend. Thank you so much for watching this video and hanging out with me. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, stay beautiful. Bye.